is Dave Yonquist and welcome to Last Cavalry TV. Well, we're going to begin a new series called Painting the Cowboy and we're going to be using oil paints, acrylics, we're going to cover groundwork, ink techniques. So, saddle up, follow along with me, and let's get started. So, we've got the cowboy and the horse primed in gray, remove the cowboy, using Krylon camouflage magic. I chose the Krylon color because it dries dead flat and it's a very nice dark brown. And we're going to be painting a very dark bay. And the first color that I'm choosing is a shadow brown from ABT. We are using oil paints to paint the horse and we're just going to lay in some of the shadow colors. Now you notice that I have a piece of cardboard, as you may know if you use oils, that is to absorb the excess oil. It'll help the paint dry faster and will also reduce some of the gloss. A bit more of that. And I'm also pulling it off onto my palette so I can control it. Also, I don't want to work the cardboard too much because we'll get some fibers. So some of these steps right now, the first steps are going to be a little hard to see again, again because we are painting such a dark horse. And you also notice that I'm not cleaning my brush in between these steps. And I am using a Da Vinci 374 series. These are very inexpensive and I just think they're perfect for blending on a large surface like this. And the reason I'm using oils, again, is that trying to paint a horse, a large-scale horse in acrylics would literally take me days and then I'd still have to go back and add a, a satin finish to it. Well with the oils we're going to be able to paint this entire horse in literally 10-15 minutes or so. It will dry to a nice satin finish and the blending is so nice. So we are painting the We'll call it the medium brown. It's a dark rust color. And we're just working it into what I call our medium highlight areas. Now, the whole figure is going to be based on high noon or the sun at 12 o'clock. And we're adding some of the light rust color now in the higher highlight parts, as you can see. And again, when buying oil paints, or really any paint, don't worry so much about what it's labeled. That's mostly for marketing. Look at the color. So we're just applying very, very small amounts of paint and really brushing most of it away and blending it just very subtly into the other color. But you don't want to overblend. It's one of the... Uh, We'll call it the hazards of oil paint is that it's so easy to blend that it's very easy to make your highlights and your shadows blend all into one single tone. So make sure you keep you know some definition between the colors. That way you'll get the pop. And I'll take a little look at her here. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of the black into the darkest shadow areas. I do want to paint the muzzle and the socks on this horse black. I haven't decided if I'm going to put a blaze up the, uh, you know, the horse's muzzle yet or not. But if I do decide to do that, I'm just going to paint it with acrylics. So we get the dark black in there. So a horse walks into a bar. Bartender asks him, why the long face? Sorry. So now we go to a round brush and we get rid of some of the excess thinner and using our highest highlight color, which again is the light rust, I want to outline some of the veining that you can see on the horse's legs and on the face. And we'll just get that right in there. And we will feather this out, of course, in a moment also. And get some highlights up around the eye. Now all the horse furniture, the bridle, saddle, 
blanket, what have you. Those will be painted in acrylics, and that's what we'll be exploring in our next video. So this video series will encompass the completion of this horse, the figure itself, and groundwork. So we just feather that out. And again, you notice I have not cleaned that brush yet. It's just actually just unnecessary. And it's nice to have some of the, uh, the previous colors in the mix. Wipe off a little bit of excess there. And back to our dark rust, or what we'll call our medium brown. And you can see with very little effort, we're getting some very nice results. This will take a couple days to dry. And during that period, I'll be able to go back and add a bit more shadow and highlight where I uh, you know, deem appropriate. Now I'm just spotting on some of the highlight color. Just dabbing it in there. Wipe off the excess. And then again, we just feather it right out without stepping in to our previous colors. So we still keep the, you know, the, the mid-tone and the, and the darker shadow. A little bit more of the thinner on our round brush. A little bit more of the highlight color. Again, we'll do some of the veining on the back legs. There. Yeah, a little extra color there. Punch that up a bit. Feather it out. And we're almost there. I'll paint the other side off camera, of course. A little final blending. Some of our darker tones. And then you can see we're just blending out some of the black tones on the socks some of the deeper shadow color but really we're there so stay tuned for part two of painting the cowboy <laughs>